Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show. And I've got, her name is Essie and the last name is McGigge. Did I get it right? Did I say it right? You got it right. Essie McGigge. I like that. My name is Brad. <laughs> That's pretty good though. <laughs> so what part of the world are you in? Hi, Brad. I'm, in, I'm based in New York. New York. Right in the city? New York City? Yes. Based in New York City. Right in the city. <laughs> I uh, took a trip there a while ago because I didn't have anywhere to go and I met somebody in Brazil and I went to, went to New York and it's a big city. It is. <laughs> It's pretty big. <laughs> you could get lost in New York City. <laughs> Absolutely. I remember I went up to the Empire State Building and I looked, there's that Central Park thing. And it's only like about 12 blocks, but that's long 12 blocks. It's far away. <laughs> How long have you lived in New York? Um, I've been in New York for five years. Okay. So you've got your roots in there? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So where did you, where did you live before you moved to New York? Um, I was in Staten Island. I live in Staten Island. Uh, totally, you know, it's totally different <laughs> from New York City. You know, I was uh, more to myself, more peaceful. <laughs> sure, sort of a and suburb. I, yes, and then I transitioned to uh, to the city where it's uh, there's a lot of activity. It's the very place. high, high, yeah, high pace and. Um, so are you a morning person or an evening person? I think I'm both. <laughs> That's good. I like that. You can kind of make it, make it adjust. Yeah. So I looked at some of your stuff here. I saw your YouTube channel and you've got something on Facebook, the Alchemical Wellness, uh, Alchemical Center for Change. So you turn yeah. common into precious, right? <laughs> I've always liked that word, alchemy. I do but too. <laughs> do, you, do you have an actual center? Right yes. Yes. Yeah, so it's a it's a it's a wellness center here in the city as well. Um, we do uh, a lot of stress management, and you know we also change uh, unhealthy habits, and which we'll talk more about uh, later on uh, as we go on. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm <laughs> it's all fun. We do fun stuff. <laughs> Well, you have to these days. <laughs> you, you got to. So you said you work with like like stress management or stress reduction? Yes, we do. Um, a lot of our program is based on um, stress uh, management, stress reduction, um, and also correcting uh, unhealthy habits. So we are, we are focused on disease um, prevention. Um, and that's, uh, I, I have a medical background. So I'm, I'm, I'm Essie McGege. <laughs> I'm the president and CEO of the uh, Chemical Center of Change. It's a wellness center in, in New York. Um, my background is in um, medicine. I am a PA. I uh, currently uh, practice as a PA in the emergency room. And um, I'm also a health coach. I did uh, my integrative uh, health uh, coach study at Duke Integrative Medicine. And our focus uh, really at the Alchemical Center of Change is in disease prevention. And what that means is um, basically we correct those habits, change those habits that lead to disease, um, such as you know, lack of sleep, <laughs> chronic lack of sleep, uh, poor dietary uh, habits, um, midnight munching, excessive calorie intake at, uh, at midnight, um, lack of uh, hydration, you know, and um, um, excessive negative thinking, and that's where we all, we come in, and we help change those habits because all of those have been shown to uh, cause uh, to cause diabetes, uh, heart disease, depression, anxiety. So we we try to intervene early before. <laughs> I think Before. that's really important. Like you said that you do some coaching. I think that's really important because that, that stress, I had a, a mild stroke, a, a TIA a while back and it sneaks up on you, that stress thing. You don't even notice it because your body is so, so powerful and so strong to be able to combat stuff. Yeah. And you don't even notice that it's happening, that you might be stressed. So I think it's really probably important to have someone from the outside like yourself looking in and saying, you know, you seem a little bit stressed because you don't notice it. I had the situation 
I was producing trade shows and events and just dealing with it. And then I came home from a networking event with a handful of business cards and it felt like someone did this to my face. And I turned around and I look on the cards on the ground. Wow, that was weird. And it was just like about a three minute episode of talking kind of funny and my hand was kind of weird. And I thought, how did that happen to me? You need someone to see that. It's just so true. It is. And it's, it's, it's definitely not uh, okay to live under chronic stress. It's, it's, it's just it's not. Um, and the early we intervene, um, it's the better. It just <laughs> it is not healthy <laughs> for our bodies, <laughs> for our minds. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, I see some people, the way that they eat just drives me crazy. I'm not like a health nut or anything like that, but you know, use salads on occasion. But I see people that do the fast food thing and then the big giant uh, thing of diet soda all the time, Mountain Dew or something like that. I think it's not good for you. It's going to sneak up on you. I suppose all that caffeine and stuff, then that's something that keeps you awake. And now you got the loss of sleep, dietary stuff. <laughs> Yes, I, I do. I mean, I agree with you. I, I think for me, I think it's more, it's not that people don't know that it's not healthy for them. It's just that they can't help it. And that's, that's why it's called a habit. You know, they just can't help it. They, they continue, they know it's not good, but you know, they continue to do it either way. Mm -hmm. um, and but they just can't help it. So that's where we come in. So if that is you, <laughs> Just get medical, just seek help. And just, you know, there's, you're not alone. <laughs> yeah, there are things that a person could do, like maybe, you know, you, you grab a handful of M&Ms or something because you want something to chew on. What if you substituted that, that habit for grapes instead? Thank you. That's exactly what we do. We do a lot of substitution. <laughs> That's where the alchemical part comes in, right? Yeah. Turning common yeah. into precious. You got common habits. You change yes. your habits and make them good for you. Yes, yes. We go from we take you we take you from reactivity to productivity. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yes. <laughs> so what what got you into this uh, career, this path, this occupation? How come you're not doing something like being a yoga teacher or a travel agent or something? What what brought you into this element? <laughs> I do actually do like yoga, <laughs> but um, I have been practicing for uh, 11 years um, medicine. I've been practicing medicine for 11 years, and most of what I do is, you know, we see patients and, you know, we diagnose them with um, a disease and then we treat it. Uh, but how about we prevent it in the first place? Mm -hmm. I think the preventative medicine is the way to go, you know, instead of putting a Band-Aid on the wound. Exactly. Yes. We and, and, that's what, and that's why I went into integrated healthcare, just to help um, in, that, uh, in that sector of uh, disease prevention. <laughs> so how, what do you got, got for people that uh, maybe they're, just, they're feeling kind of sluggish and they think, oh, I'll just get over this. What do you think might be some signs that maybe they should give you a call or seek out help somewhere? What are some signs? So if you have um, chronic habits, um, well, habits are chronic, but if you have um, habits that are limiting you in any way, so that is, you know, I don't want to, let's say if you have, uh, there's something that you should be doing, you know, you should be doing that, but <laughs> and you're not doing it and it's, continuous it's repetitive and, and you see it's it's causing you problems you know um, then that's a sign that you know you might want to seek professional help and you know we can help you we can support you in changing this habit to to align with your ideal vision and ideal what your, your ideal desire what is it that you want to achieve because some of those things you can kind of make into a game, which ends up being fun. You know, instead of having to go to the gym and exercise, um, I do, I exercise like once a week, I go and work out on a Saturday morning, but I have to walk the dog every day. So I go out and I do the dog walk and then I take the stairs up instead of the elevator and I try and take two steps at a time. So it works my legs and gets my heartbeat up there. And I do all around the third floor. So I go all the way up and that kind of, makes it fun because I'm with the dog and all that kind of stuff as opposed to having to work out because that's a work that's a four-letter word work <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
It is, it is. Um, and in terms of um, lack of activity, and I, I'm not referring to you now, I'm just saying in general, um, anyone who um, is like, you know, having issues, any difficulty or challenges with just getting out and getting out the house and just doing uh, physical activity, uh, we help also in that area. Um, we can get you started <laughs> to that, you know, ideal body weight that you want um, and just, you know, that ideal health that you want. We can help out as well. Right? I think sometimes people are thinking that it's, oh, it's just going to be too much work, but it's a bunch of little things. It's not all sudden, boom, you just lose the weight or you have better endurance. It's a, it's a bunch of little things, I think, just living a more active life, like, even when I'm walking down the hall or whatever, I'm doing this with my hand, just keep some motion going with my hands. Exactly. Just keep things going a little, keep the, keep the blood flowing, you know, exactly. make it a little easier. Exactly, just even simply walking, just walk, walk. <laughs> yes, good walk around the lake and yes, enjoy yes. it. <laughs> Absolutely. So what happens at your wellness center? Is it primarily just a place to visit with patients or clients or is there exercise equipment or anything like that in there? Or? So right now, um, because of the um, COVID um, pandemic, um, we are, we're doing everything online. It's all, it's all virtual now. Um, so it's more of coaching. So we do more coaching um, and then um, we do stress management. And those we can do online. We don't necessarily have to meet in person. <laughs> Okay. Because these are just we, we give you the practices, we give you the tools. Uh, we do have a, a couple of free um, programs coming coming up. Um, okay. Yeah, we have the Happiness Now event. It's a workshop, um, and it's uh, it's coming up on the twenty fifth. We do them. We do it every every month. So it's totally free. Um, in the workshop, uh, we give um, our our you know members um, attendees um, tools to master their emotions especially in times of crisis, <laughs> mm -hmm. definitely those tools are very helpful. Um, so basically, you know, um, we answer questions like, what do I do when my emotions get the best of me? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you do but, these once a month? Yes, we do them every month. Oh, that's good to know. So how do they learn about these things? Why don't you uh, give us directions to, I'm assuming you have a website or something that uh, yes. shows yes. the event? Well, yes, you, we, do have, we do have a website. Uh, it's alchemicalcenter.com and just, just like that alchemicalcenter.com yeah. yes. that's a good one that's yeah <laughs> and just click on free events <laughs> it's right there <laughs> okay well i will put those links in the the youtube video when i put it up there so that people can access it there yeah. and um if there's there's anything else i'll keep this kind of short and i'll get it beamed up to the universe so people can find it do you have anything else you want to part with and share with us some nuggets of wisdom Yes, and yes, there is. I, I, there is a global summit that I would be speaking. Um, I'll be speaking there, and basically we will we'll be talking about workplace wellness um, in the aftermath of <laughs> the whole crisis. I mean, the COVID and, okay. and uh, just the mental health crisis going on right now. Uh, if you would like to learn more information, please go to globalworkplacewellnesssummit.com. Well, workplace wellness summit. That's got global. Got it. Wellness okay. global. Yes. Global workplace yes. wellness summit. Yes. I think they'll be able to find that. I think that's an important thing too, because people are one stressed out. Am I going to have a job or I'm coming back to the job and my neighbor's over there with us. He's sneezing and you can get all stressed out. So I think it's a very important for that to be able to calm down a little bit, chill out. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, Essie, I'm going to sign this off and beam it up to the universe and I will send a copy over to you. I appreciate you taking the time and I will get this out within an hour because I do it real fast. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>